Hello family. So I wanted to hop back onto Facebook because I have not Facebook, YouTube. <laughs> to let you guys know what's been going on. Um, I know I haven't made any videos lately, so I do apologize about that, but we've been so busy doing other things. But right now I am in Arizona and we have bought 10 acres out here. And right now um, I will show you guys what we're doing. He is, hold on, let me turn this around. He is clearing land for where the cabin will go and the driveway. I'm thinking, well, I told him that I'd like the driveway coming up from this way, back there, and then have it like in a circle where the cabin would be. But then at the same time, I want all of this cleared as well. I mean, I'll leave some greenery, but for the most part, I know that snakes and stuff love the shade and I don't want any kind of shading around for them. <laughs> Honey, so how do you feel about this little project out here? Like the plan of either moving out here, doing an Airbnb. What are your thoughts? It's interesting. He's not, he really don't like it, you guys. Do you? It's interesting, dear. You know, it's a new adventure. We'll see how I go. All right. So basically I got the idea, well, several years ago, I had did like a tiny home out here in the middle of the desert and it was super cute. I'll throw some pictures in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, now we're getting the shed home, put exactly where we want it on the property. But anyways, so I sold that and then I just got the idea to just go ahead and do it again because I did see some property out here that was a decent price. And it was in the middle, it's in the middle of nowhere. Like we do have a neighbor, I think I like down that way and they're like in an RV, but that's about it. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing, you guys. We were also thinking about doing like a um, Airbnb out here in the middle of the desert, you know, uh, but who knows? I really don't know quite yet exactly what we're gonna do. If we're gonna move out here, do an Airbnb. I was wanting to even like have like a little Christian community out here where people can come and live on the land, but we all just work together and like grow food. I'd love to homestead. But here, let me give you a shot from across the street. And it's so quiet out here, you guys. Nothing around but some wild bulls and cows and burrows. <laughs> but also, we have to get th this is like our street right here. Okay. And look how horrible it is. 
So we will definitely have to get these done. And they're, the county doesn't maintain them. So that is up to us to pay someone to come out here and get it done. So you guys, that's what Simona has been up to lately. So yeah, and I'm excited. And I'll also put a clip in here or some pictures of the cabin that I have in mind to have set or built on the property. Okay, family, so here it is. This is what we envisioned for our shell that we bought through Tough Shed, through the Home Depot. So um, the width is 20 feet, and then it is 48 length with 16 foot high walls. I really wanted that cathedral look, which is what brought up the price to 61,700, and that's for the shell. I don't know if you guys ever heard of like shed to houses. People turned the sheds into houses and tiny houses and stuff like that. So that's exactly what we are going to do. But we still have so much clearing to do. I don't want like none of this here because I know that snakes love shade. And there's lots of rattlers out here and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm going to keep some of the greenery, but away from where our cabin will be. And this is the highest part of the land, you guys, so that's why he chose this spot right here. But it's looking good so far. All right, so we're getting the driveway in. This is looking really good. Of course, in the near future, we will have, um, I don't know, it's like black rock and have it landscaped and stuff like that, but this is looking really good so far. onto the property. And here's the finished product. So what we're doing now, I went to Walmart and got like some spray paint. So when we go back to Ohio, if I want some work done here, I can give the people better directions. Cause these, there's like no street names and stuff like that. So I need to leave some landmarks. So I'll show you what I'm doing. Smart. I'm actually gonna have to get street signs put up out here. Cause we have to make it. These are to tell the, the cows and the bulls not to get in the yard. <laughs> Can't wait to get a fence up though. One of the kids. So as an added bonus, I got your property. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do this for free. I'm gonna grade this part that the guy cleared the brush on. The brush, I'm gonna clear this all. It only allows me to record a little. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grade this part that's cleared. And I will have drone footage tomorrow. My drone took a crap. I lost a propeller, so I have some more coming. But I will record this all on the whole road tomorrow. This is the before of your property that's been cleared. I'm gonna grade this for you show you the difference okay I'm sure you'll love it 
Okay, so this is the drone footage that our contractor sent us when we got back to Ohio. Um, I found him on Facebook Marketplace, actually, and I contacted him and he said he'd go out there and look at the property and see what he can do. And he literally graded our the part that the one guy did for $600. He graded our property and did about two miles of road. I want to say it's two miles, could be three, I don't know. But this road that I'm showing you right here, these are all of our roads that lead out from our property. And it was just a, such a blessing because he did it for, well, he did, um, he graded it for free. So let's see the price to get the roads graded and cleared about two to three miles. That was $3,000. I mean, you can't beat that, you guys. Like, look at all this road. <laughs> So God is so good and for him to do that for us, um, to grade it for free, the actual part that you guys see where the um, cabin will be, that was just amazing. So praise God for that. And um, I hope you guys just follow along on this journey. Like I'm super excited, like with uh, house prices going up and rent going up, it's just ridiculous, you guys, the inflation. So if you can find different ways to just try to get around that and um, just like we did looking into the tiny house, well, we, we've already looked into a tiny house before this, uh, before the inflation, but still it's such a smart idea, you guys, to just find you a piece of land for cheap. You can find it on Facebook Marketplace. That's where I, we found ours. And uh, you can make payments. They have like financing options. You can pay it in full. The prices, I mean, the payments are usually super low, like super affordable. Like so I, I've seen some payments like as low as like $150 a month, you know? So they make it very, very easy for everyone to own some land. Now our land is not, and sorry for all the no, noise behind me, I'm at work at the moment, <laughs> but they, um, uh, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, goodness. And I'm not redoing this voiceover. Sorry. So it's going to be a little ratchet. But <laughs> but anyways, I totally forgot I, what I was saying, you guys. But I am just super excited. And I hope that you all follow along in this journey and just to see the end result. All right, family. I love you guys. And God bless you. Have a beautiful morning, day, night, whenever you see this video. And until next time, bye-bye.